afternoon, YouTube modeling community. Mopar Modeler here. Just a quick vlog. Um, I'm thinking about changing the name from, instead of calling it vlog, call it, you know, apple pie time, you know. Uh, tell me what you guys think about that. Uh, the reference is I'm wanting to do something like what Chris Chapman does with coffee time. By the way, Chris, you know, cheers. But I don't want to steal his coffee time phrase. So, I was thinking about doing <clears throat> apple pie time. Now, in Kentucky, at least where I live, we like to get together now and then and partake, you know, in, in some homemade apple pie and talk about things. And some of the guys are really good musically and play instruments. I don't. But it's fun to sit there and enjoy some apple pie together. Homemade. It's really nice on a cold winter day. And it's also good on a hot summer day. It's good anytime. So, you know, I'm thinking about, instead of having coffee time, like Chris Chapman does, uh, I'm thinking about having apple pie time. A time that I can be with you guys and talk about whatever's on my mind and what I'm up to. So... To all my friends in the YouTube modeling community, that's still good stuff. I love my apple pie. Can't have any until after lunch, though. So, with that, my idea is, is or my thoughts, my hopes, what I plan on doing, is to do two videos a week at least. One will be my apple pie video, you know, to let you know what's happening and all the little side stuff going on. And at least a video on whatever project I worked on that week. Um, hopefully tomorrow sometime I will start uploading, you know, my progress on the Lone Star Kit. So you'll probably see that um, Tuesday morning. <clears throat> you'll probably see this video uh, Monday morning. So, um, look for another Lone Star, uh, <coughs> excuse me, another Lone Star update. And there might be times I might have three videos where I might do other updates on, on things that I'm, I'm looking at and trying to do. Um, one of the things I've been messing with is, and it's Chris Chapman's fault, and we'll pick on him a lot on this video. I talked to him on video chat earlier today, so I warned him I was going to pick on him and his that blonde he's got, you know, living with him. That, what's her name again? Cherry? Mm hmm. Ask him about that blonde. Yes, maybe he'll put her on video. You guys like that. Anyway, enough of Cherry. When I talked about the Dr. Cranky build, I, I, I talked about doing the um, pie wagon. And he made some comments about rusting it up and everything. And I was like, well, if the pie wagon had been a real car, it would have been made out of fiberglass. And so rusting fiberglass really doesn't make sense. So I thought about what can I do to age fiberglass? And if you ever looked at old fiberglass boats and stuff where the, where the outer coating has come off and the fiberglass is showing, you know, you, you can see the fibers. So I've been messing around. Thanks to Chris Chapman again. Hopefully this focuses. You know, um, you might have to go to 1080 on your video to see this better instead of whatever low setting it may be on. But this is a beater glue bomb. I did not make this. Um, I often acquire junker kits to part out or to experiment on. You know, this I got because I wanted the rims. And this is like a 75 cent glue bomb kit. But anyway, if you look at the top, look at all, I took a dryer sheet and I put glue on top of the roof, laid the dryer sheet down, and it didn't stick, <laughs> believe it or not. So then, with the dryer sheet still on, I went over it again with more glue through the dryer sheet and let it dry. And then after it dried, I took a lighter, a cigarette lighter, you know, fire! And I kind of scorched off 
a lot of the uh, excessive wild fiber hairs. And then I just took some, um, you know, acrylic brown, mixed it up, washed it up with some water, and, and put some brown on there. And the object was, and the reason why I use this is because this is molded in color, that I want, I want some of the color to show through, but then I want the whiteness of the fiberglass. Even though in real life it would all be white and you would have the paint color on the outside in spots and then with the fiberglass is sticking out, but who cares? This still looks cool, old and weathered. And <clears throat> um, I'm contemplating whether I want to do this to a pie wagon or not. One of the reasons why I wanted to build a pie wagon is, is I'm not saying it hasn't been done, but I have yet to see a pie wagon put together without a lot of flaws. Most of them, because the pie wagon has a lot of, um, where you have to be really careful on cutting this, cutting it away from the sprue. And, you know, one of the biggest issues with it is that the interior, you have to put the interior in before you put the two halves. The pie wagon, and here I have this here, this is actually a glue bomb that I've been cleaning up. This is an original 1968 version of the pie wagon. And one of the ways you can tell is, and I don't know how it is with my lighting, the color is this color. It's, it's more of what you see on the box. You know, um, the newer version, or not the newest, but a newer version, happens to be from 1986. This is 1986. This also is molded in color. And it is darker. Okay? See? So you see here, and, and, and this is um, a more of a maroonish color, I think. And this is more of a violet color. So I don't know if the lighting is helping or not that you can see that actually the differences in the color. Okay, I want to go with the 1968 version. And if any of you guys have an extra 1968 version of this kit, you know, even if it's a glue bomb and needs work, if you PM me, we can cut a deal. I like to get another one. You know, this one, um, like I said, is a, is a glue bomb, but not really bad. It, it has some issues and um, um, hopefully I can clean it up and make it look really really nice and shiny and so yes I said shiny Chris did you hear that I said shiny I want to make a shiny uh, pie wagon and I say it's a glue bomb because here's the bottom half the interior is already glued in the motors glued on and there's dust on it and you know, if you look, you can see where they put glue on it and, and the whiteness of the glue. But I think I can clean that up and, and, and get that to, to dissipate. I've already sanded on the top because you see how nice and smooth this is here. On the other side, and I don't know if you can see it well enough because my lighting is in the evening. Um, there's seam lines that are very, very prominent and stand out. Now... Um, when I put this sucker together, you know, one of the issues, and this is where I have not yet seen, personally, anyway, a pie wagon that where the seam comes together isn't, you know, seamless or smooth. You always see a crack there. And, you know, one of the re one of the reasons is, is, you know, obviously, if you leave it molded in color... It's hard to hide that seam by using bodywork. And even when you do use some sort of, you know, filler or something, that's such a sharp edge, it's hard. Well, I'm going to do my best and take my time to put this together and make that seamless. Now, I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do that because, um, you know, you literally have to build your interior first put your interior in, then set this on. And I would like to get the body perfect, then have the interior put in. 
but I don't know how I would do that because the spacing just, you know, this part of the upper part of the model obviously is a lot more narrow than the bottom part, you know. I have several ideas that I want to do. So if I don't paint it and I just try to fix it up, mold it in plastic and, and pull it, you know, and, and get it cleaned up and maybe, I hate to say this word, future it, put some future on it to get it to shine, then that might be a thing. Now, that's the original issue of the Pi Wagon, the 1968, that I want to clean up and make beautiful. And again, I ask you guys, if you have one and it's reasonable, I would like to acquire another one. Now, you've seen the other one that was a darker color. Those aren't so hard to get. And I'm thinking about doing the dryer sheet treatment to it and making it look old. Okay? If I do that, I will build both of them and have them side by side. The only thing is, is if I do it with the old one, it's a different color than the new one. So to say this is the beginning of the car when it was freshly made and now this is what it looks like. Why would the paint color be darker? It would be lighter. So I have what I think is the latest release of the Pie Wagon. I'm not for sure if it's the latest release. Um, I forgot what year this one is. This is 1998. And it is molded in white. Now, what I could do is do what I used to do when I made armor. And, you know, take and carve into the plastic. Not all the way through, but recess the plastic. Take my dryer sheets, glue them inside, right? Glue them inside, and then um, paint the body, or paint the body first, then glue the dryer sheets in. But use, you know, try to mix a color similar to the original Pie Wagon, but a lot lighter. So it looks faded, and do it in a flat color. Of course, I'll rough the body up to make it uh, coarse, and then have tufts of fiberglass sticking out in different places, you know, and that would be that. And if I do it with this one, what I would like to do with the other pie wagon eventually is, if you look at this, the shape of this body and everything, I mean, get it out of your mind that this is supposed to be a show car. What does that look like right there? I mean, the shape of it and everything. It looks like a boat. It looks like one of them, you know, I don't know what they call them, gondolas or something where a guy has a long stick and he's pushing it along, you know, and all that. That's what that looks like. Wouldn't it be cool to fill this all in and smooth it out? Maybe put a keel on it, just a slight one. I don't know. And and turn the pie wagon into the tuna wagon or something like that. And, and, and make it a boat, man, where it, you know, have a you know, fill this in or, or even leave it like that. Put an outboard motor on it, man, or just some sort of put a big hemi in there sticking out with a blade and what? That would be cool, man. You know, of course, it wouldn't be practical. A big old V8 engine in there, such a flat bottom boat, this sucker would be everywhere. You know, call it uh, the Gator Catcher or something, you know, because it's flat bottom and light for the uh, whatever. But wouldn't that be cool, man? Put a, v a V8 engine in there and, and have a, a propeller, you know, and, and just build this up some and make it into a boat, you know. Have Doctor, have it, have a have a guy out here in the back with a fishing pole or something. That would be cool. So, those are just wild ideas. But again, if any of you guys have any pie wagons that you don't want that are missing parts, glue bombs, you know, whatever, you know, PM me because we could probably do some trading. And if you definitely have one from 1968, and you would like to do some trading or sell it or something, let me know because I would like to, to fool around with, I'd like to have another one. Now, I have a new addition to the shop. You can see right there under the Varga Mopar girl, my, uh, my new uh, uh, spray booth. And that's the one with LED lighting. 
So that is cool. I want to set the camera down here, pointing towards that direction. And I'm going to go turn it on and see what I'm saying. This thing is Isn't cool. that not slick? I think that's cool beans, man. You know, I should be able to get some painting done with that thing. Look at that. It, it's almost glowing. You know, I'd turn off all my lights, man. Let's see how bright that thing is. Wow. Look at that, man. Isn't that cool or, or what? Huh? Isn't that cool? It looks like some alien spacecraft has landed in, in, in my workshop, man. Boy, that thing is bright, you know. That way when I, I paint stuff, I can see what I'm painting and what a terrible job I'm doing. Anyway, so, let me turn all these lights back on. Anyway, enough chatting. I can't think of anything else exciting or anything to catch you all up on. I will say this. Um, check out all of the extreme builds that's going on that's being sponsored by Chevy Cheeseburger. Check out all those videos. Check out my buddy Gino, you know, Gene Crabtree and his extreme build. Do a search for Chevy Cheeseburger extreme build, you know. And check them all out. It's not just my buddy Gino, but check out all those videos and see all the wonderful things that's happening. You know, so until tomorrow or whenever uh, that I have my next video of actual model car work and not me just talking. Um, so until then, you have a wonderful evening and a great day. And, um, you know, keep the plastic flowing, you know, keep up the work. Have a great day, and God bless.